Hey yo, what is going on YouTube? Back on this draft champions. I have one win under my belt and I need three more to win the whole draft champions and we're just gonna start right into the first game. You see I well I have Walter Jones. He has Ray Lewis, Joe Thomas, and the guy whose name I'm not gonna pronounce, Christian Okoe. I think I got it. I think I got it. But I start off with the ball. Playing at home, dumping it down to Jimmy Graham, a.k.a. Do it for the Graham. And I wanted to start off this game by just passing the ball out. And, yeah, it didn't work out so well as my opponent does get the interception. He has the ball on his own 45-yard line, handing it off to Christian Okoye. And on the third and five, dropping back, rolling out the pocket escaping the pressure and getting the first down with Ryan Tannehill second and seven dropping back with my users and I see where he was going and I get the user pick no don't go in the end zone getting the user pick with Kiko Alonzo getting the ball back and trying to strike again with the passing game passing it out to Jimmy Graham but that has to be the worst pass I ever seen in Madden 16 to date is it Christmas because we are giving each other presents as on first and ten he gets the first down with T.Y. Hilton and on second and goal dropping back that was a crazy pass that shouldn't have even been completed off his back foot completing the pass to Calvin Benjamin that was a bullshit pass but on the kickoff there's only two reasons why I show kickoff either it's a big play or a big boo-boo and this right here is going to be your big play as Marcus Goodwin hits the spin move. And is streaking his way down the sidelines. Can I get a hot tub? So now the game is tied. Just 30 seconds left until the second half. And I'm throwing it deep to Jimmy Graham, but the ball gets knocked out of his hands. Second and 10, Aaron Rodgers though, decides to go to his second favorite target, Andre Johnson, but the ball gets knocked out of his hands. So on a third and 10, why not try it again? Drop him back, going deep to Jimmy Graham, AKA do it for the Graham who snags the ball out of the air with only 10 seconds left. And I immediately called the timeout. So on the first and ten, I decide to just go for it all. Dropping back and passing it to Graham, who gets the touchdown catch. And watch my opponent, player talk shit, and Jimmy Graham smacks him in the helmet. And here we go, another kickoff. There's only two reasons why I show it. Either it's a big play or a big boo-boo. And this right here is a big fucking play. Getting the kick return all the way down to the 43 yard line. So on the second and nine, his mentality is to just go down the field and try to score. But he gets brought down by Arnold Palmer. Or whatever his name is. Not Arnold Palmer, the ice tea. Probably Aaron Palmer. I think that's his name is. But back to the gameplay. As on third and 12, my opponent throws a bad, bad pass. And he gets picked off and returned for the pick six. Oh no, oh man, not again, your peer has conceded the game, in other words, he doesn't want to play me anymore, so you see it just only two more wins, two more wins and the draft champion is mine, and we do go against somebody who has a nasty, a nasty secondary, Rashad Jones is back there. Sean Smith is back there and Dawson is his center so on first and ten I had to stay away from the side that not only has Rashad Jones but also Sean Smith so on the second in inches I run play action and I decide to take off as the right side of the field is wide open and Aaron Rodgers gets the first down first and ten dropping back play action finding Porsche is that his name? 
He's not fast like one, but I guess that is his name. 38 dropping back, finding Darius Green Beckham, the cousin of Odell Beckham Jr. himself for the touchdown. Every time I start a new draft and I see this guy on my team, I get so excited because this guy is a monster. He's only 71 overall, but he's such a great beast. But back to the gameplay, my opponent on a third and six drops back, but gets brought down in the backfield by Palmer again. And keep your, keep your eye out on Palmer because Palmer is going to be a key factor in this game as I get the first down with Andre Williams. Fourth and two. Don't know if I should be going for this, but I decide to. But it was a bad decision as my opponent sent the mean blitz through the A-gap and we get brought down. Turnovers on downs. But on first and ten, my opponent drops back and throws it straight to Eric Weddle. Is it Christmas yet? We are giving each other gifts. This episode is all about giving as we continue to commit turnovers. But on first and ten, throwing it up to Andre Johnson. Reaching out with the one in hand for the aggressive catch, the OP aggressive catch. And on a first and ten, Darius Green Beckham cannot come up with it, even though he had his hands on the ball. So on a third and four, I decide to roll out the pocket, and Darius Green Beckham cannot bring it in again. So we have to settle for the field goal, making this a 10 to 0 game. Start of the second half, my opponent has the ball. He's rolling out the pocket, finding Santonio Holmes, the new flashback. His quarterback is Matt Ryan, who rolls out the pocket again. And going deep to Santana Holmes, who brings it down. Third and goal, drop it back, but gets brought down. Fumbles the ball, but nobody was there to pick it up. Justin Tuck forced the fumble. And on the fourth and goal, doing the smart move, going for the field goal. Second and one. I know it is important to get this first down, but I'm going deep to Codwell, which was a dumb mistake by me. All I needed was just one yard for the first down to continue the drive, but instead I throw an interception. And watch this play. First and ten, doing it across the field and gets the completion. This is ridiculous. Third and eight, tries to throw off his back foot again, but Eric Weddle is there for his second interception of the game. But we weren't able to do anything as we had to punt the ball. And on second and ten, Holmes is completely shitting on my defense. First and ten, he tries to roll out the pocket, but Palmer is there for his second sack of the game. And on second and twenty. Dropping back, and D'Angelo Hall just got mossed. Second and eight, just throwing these dangerous passes and completing them. And on second and goal, just diving it in for the touchdown, as he had about like 16 lucky catches this drive just by using the aggressive catch. So with only eight seconds left, I decide maybe to use the aggressive catch myself and throwing it up to Jimmy Graham, a.k.a. do it for the Graham, brings the catch down. And we have the ball at the 34-yard line, which makes this about a 50-plus field goal. Make sure the power is full meter. Kicking the ball through the uprights, and we barely, barely, barely escape this game. It wasn't a pretty game by neither of us as we threw plethora, plethora of interceptions. But all that matters at the end is that we were able to capitalize. In our next game, our final game, my opponent has Rod Woodson, Mangold, and Josh Sitton. So his offensive line is pretty OP and his secondary must be decent with Rod Woodson back there. So I decided to test Rod Woodson. Psych, I went to Darius Green Beckham. Why would I try to test Rod Woodson for? First and 10, a passing play. I have not run that much this trash season, but throwing it deep to Andre Johnson as Rod Woodson wasn't there. What was Rod Woodson, you ask me? I cannot tell you. First and 10, handing it off to Andre Williams and Andre Williams is doing what he has done all this draft season. 
getting first downs and right here getting the touchdowns. He's only a 71 overall, but he is the best bat that they will give to you that isn't a gold player. So my opponent, third and fourth, throws it straight to Palmer. Arnold Palmer. I don't know if that's his name for real, but I just call him that because I don't know his name. But he has been such a beast for me. Getting two sacks last game and an interception this game. And on first and ten, throwing it up to do it for the grab himself, Jimmy Graham. And this looks like it's going to be an easy game. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Your period has conceded the game. So we did it, squad NSG. We won the draft champions. And in fact, I've won about four more draft champions after this because I've just been playing this game mode a lot, a lot. And because it's free, as far as me, as far as Ultimate Team, I don't know if I'll be doing Ultimate Team this year. We will see. But stay tuned for more draft champions. As this is your boy, NSG Commentary. And I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.